that person. You dare not. You cannot. You know why? Because you only come for a showboat. Sad indeed. But the brother reminds us. He reminds us five things here. And I'm going to name them to you. One, God do not accept vain worship. Two, God does not accept ignorant worship. Three, God does not accept idolatry worship or idol worship. But what God do accept? True and acceptable worship. If you do not remember anything that the preacher says tonight, remember, God do accept acceptable worship in spirit and in truth. The floor is now open here. The floor is now open here. Where any one of us, from whatever you can remember, to act. This is the time for you and I to act. I know we gotta leave here by nine o'clock because we all have work tomorrow. This is what we call a classroom. This was our teacher. And in a classroom, when the teacher put a subject or a sum on the board, and that teacher expound to us, the student, about that sum, and we all agree by simply saying, yes, I understand. And the teacher later turned around and asked, is there any question? There is no question. But then what the teacher going to say to you, do that sum, or do that. And we all take the test and we do it. And eventually, you know what happened? Each and every one of us fail. We fail. But before we say we understand, we know. So the question is to all of us, is there any question to ask our dear brother? Brother Daniel, is there any question? Silence is consent. There is no question. Oh, sorry. Eunice. 
surprisingly, there is no mention of his father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the ladies helped Timothy, and at the end of the day, he became a preacher. Mm -hmm. So as for the obligation, it is our obligation to teach our children. But please, don't force them. And just to add a little of what the brother just says in the book of Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6, Proverbs, the writer, says, train a child in the way that you may go. Yeah. It is very yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand a situation like that where three girls or three boys or whatever yeah. is right to because especially in Canada here, to bring children up in the nurture the ambition of God. It is more easy in our country where we were well born, but not in North America, period, not. But the Bible went on and it says, the passage went on and it says, that when that child become of accountability, they may not depart. But if they depart, they will remember to come back. Because Brother Daniel said, you don't force no one to do anything, but you nurture them, you love them, you show them, you teach them. Always be the help and guide there for that. And someday, sooner rather than later, if they leave and go straight, they're going to remember mommy, daddy had did this. And they're going to come back. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. What do you think Mama. about people believing in God? I was talking to a young man, and he said, you know, just cultural conversation, and he said he don't believe in God. And I said, why are you saying that? He said, because so much things going on in the world today, and where is God? He said, so I said, no, you should not say that, because you grew up in a Christian home, and why do you say you don't believe in God? He said, oh, God didn't give me this. I said, God gave you a job. I said, the job you is in. How did you get me? I said, because we are praying for you. And God here will pray and he will provide you all. You know, I could, I, I, you know, I'm good He said, but I don't believe in that. Now, what should I tell this man when I have a conversation with him? You know what we got to do? Teach, encourage, and pray for such people. Right. There will always be people who will not accept what God says. But it is our responsibility as the children of God to do what we are supposed to do. He asks us to go and teach. Teaching and praying, there is nothing more we can do. And uh, probably when we prepare more adequately, we will be able to convince them somehow. Um, people, when 9 11 happened in the United States, I read a lot from people. I mean, you tell us God exists, and then uh, God moved, and then this thing happened, blah, 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 blah. But the question is, if bad things happen, then God does not exist. What about if good things happen? <laughs> that is what they do. I try, I try to. And that is, your, that, that is all that you can do. Yeah, you organize within yourself because um, you know the person is missing the whole thing. Yes. But then there's one little you can do apart from teaching, encouraging, and then praying for these people. At the end of the day, each and every one of us will give an account of himself. Amen. And the judgment day is going to be an individual affair. But as Christians, we don't have to fail by teaching, encouraging, and praying for the rest of the world. That is our work. I believe all have been said thus far, and there is no other question. If there is any, you can just raise your hand. We'll answer, gladly um, answer the questions. If there is no other question, before I call on Brother Wilson to direct our heart in our discussion, pray. Pray. Yeah. Um, in the absence of any further questions, I am also, or we are, inviting anybody here tonight who is not yet a member of the Lost Church, who is not yet a Christian, 
uh, who has not yet been baptized into the Lord, that you have the opportunity to obey the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ through baptism. They that believe and are baptized will be saved. Amen. Amen. So tonight, if the Lord is knocking at your door and you want to have baptism, we are here. We are ready to help you. And from today, uh, tonight up to Sunday, you have the opportunity to respond to the death barrier and the resurrection of Christ. The doors are wide open. So we extend the invitation to you. We are ever ready to help anybody who wants to come to the Lord. Thank you. Well May we all stand, please, as we turn our song book to 255, 255. We we'll sing stand at one, two, and four, please. Some of the first string, and then we ask Brother Bernard Wilson to let our last hour dismiss some prayer. And tomorrow, God willing, yeah. we could be back here on Tuesday, the sixth day of June, to have our second period of this one week of gospel crusade. Here we all stand and sing 255. I am reserved no longer to linger.
Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for those who have responded to our invitation to come and hear a portion of your holy word. Yes. We pray that they will be blessed. Amen. We pray, Lord, that those who have not yet accepted Jesus Christ, by the time this or these meetings come to the conclusion that they will make up that decision to be added to your church. Yes. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will continue to bless us, bless the works of our hands, as we continue to proclaim your goodness wherever we find ourselves. Yes. We want to thank you for this land, for Canada. We thank you for peace and tranquility to continue to prevail so that your children can continue to worship you freely. Amen. We in like manner pray for those who are in other places that experience turbulence, wars, and other calamities, Heavenly Father. There are Christians in those places. We want to pray for them. Heavenly Father, that you indeed will protect them. You will guide them and grant them some relief from the troubles that they face. We thank you for each and every one here. We pray for those who are not doing so well in health, who could not be with us because of such reasons. Heavenly Father, we pray that you indeed will grant them some relief from their afflictions. And if it be your will that they can join with us so that together we can study, investigate your holy word and deepen our understanding of your will to us. As we conclude for tonight and we'll be departing going our various ways, Heavenly Father, we pray just as you granted us safe passage to this place tonight, you will in like manner grant us safe passage to our various homes. Yes. And on the morrow, if we have to go to work, to school, or wherever else we may have to go, we pray that you go with us Amen. and guide our feet. Amen. And when the hour approaches for us to reassemble in this place, you will likewise bring us here safely. Amen. So that we can continue studying and investigating your holy book and deepening our understanding of your will. Yes. And help us at the end of this all that we will be able, we will be equipped to go out there boldly, having learned the truth about you, to be able to teach others also. We thank you for tonight. And pray that you be with us and dismiss us in Christ's name. Pray with thanks for means. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, my brother. from human size. He tends his skies with heavenly hue and frame the worlds with his great might. There is a God. There is a God.
to give that he from sin might set man free and evermore with him could live there is a god